Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a big treat. I used to be a big fan of Southern Tier beers. And I could get most of them here. And then they changed the, the distributor that was handling their beers here in, in Virginia. And they went, went away for a while. And now they're starting to show back up again. And I may have reviewed this beer uh, earlier in my beer reviews. Uh, the first year or two that I was doing them when I could get my hands on most of the beers that they did and uh, and now that like I said they're showing back up so if I've reviewed this beer this is a re-review re of the, uh, the the beer this is Southern Tears Blackwater Series Mocha and uh, what that is is an Imperial Stout it says here it's coming in at 10% I think that's what it's got on the bottle yep and according to what my beer uh, list says uh, the Southern Tier dates the cases and on the bottles underneath the label. Uh, it's a stout beer, it's a dark beer, and I don't see anything on the label. They say it's underneath the label. So we'll take a closer look and see if I can find. It's hard to see a black digitized writing on a, bottle, a dark brown bottle that has a black beer in it. I mean, don't understand that. Southern Tier is big enough brewery to date their labels. Or at least dated in a yellow or a white writing when you where you can see it and they choose not to so thumbs down to southern tier for that they make some awesome tasting beers i'm a big fan of their beers but they need to realize you cannot see that writing while the beer is in the bottle so whoever makes that executive decision at southern tier send him down here and i'll take him out in the front yard and whip his ass there's no excuse for that we can't read that silly ass black digitized writing on a beer with a brown bottle with a, with a uh, stout in it. I don't know who the rocket scientist is there, but he's an idiot. He's an idiot. They make some awesome beers, don't get me wrong. I love Southern Tears beers, but whoever's in charge of that is an idiot. We need to have a yellow writing. We need to have a white writing if you have to print it on the bottle itself. But better yet, you're a big brewery, you can afford to print it on the fucking label. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I know a lot of you guys get tired of hearing me say that, but it's my objective and my goal to not stop harping on this dating uh, until we get a date. And we don't need the month and in, in, in the day on this style of beer. We just need the year. This is a 2013 vintage, 2014 vintage, 2015 vintage. Uh, I mean, unless you're using that same label year after year after year, and I don't understand why, you're a big brewery, you, you can afford to print a new label every year for the beer that you're producing, and you choose not to. So, got a problem with that. So, we're going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, and like I said, I may have re I reviewed this beer years ago. So, this is a re-review if I have, and if it's not, we're going to do it now. So, uh, commercial description, I, I did tell you it was a 10%. I don't have the IBUs listed here for this, and a lot of stouts, uh, they don't list the IBUs because uh, that's more of a IPA or a double IPA kind of thing, but I still would like to know. I mean, a lot of them still do, and they'll tell you it's either 30, 25, 30, 40. I mean, not a lot of them get above the 50 on a stout on the IBUs. Uh, it would take a lot of sweet malt to have a uh, IBU uh, above 50 on a stout, uh, but anyway. We'll see. Well, I'll, I'll take a... It's just sweating all over the place. I can't see any writing on the bottle, guys. Uh, we'll take a closer look uh, when I come back for the final chug and see if I can see any kind of writing on the bottle. Like I said, can't see it. And a lot of these places, uh, they, they refrigerate the, a lot of these beers. And some of them do, some of them don't. Just depends on the store you buy it in. And if it's refrigerated and you pull it out and try to find it, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. And like I said, month day is not that important. 
beer is. I, well, it is to me. I would like to know what vintage beer I, that I, I'm drinking, especially if I want to sell it. Uh, I've got a 2013 edition, I've got a 2014 edition, I've got a 2015 edition, and I might want to do a vertical sometime or, not, uh, or another. Put two of them side by side and see how one is aged better than the other. But if they don't, if they don't do that, how are you going to know? How are you going to freaking know? So, I'm going to keep harping on it until all these guys do it, guys. I mean, it's just, uh, you wouldn't buy a loaf of bread or a gallon of milk if we didn't have a date on it, would you? So, come on. We're consuming this. This is consumables. Uh, we need to have uh, we need to have a, at least a year on this. All right. Commercial description says when empirical and creative impulses collide, the result is often timeless. The classic utility art aesthetics of coffee maker is an example of design and engineering working in concert. It is through similar cooperation that the simple bitter cocoa bean is transformed into a sweet treat. As scientists, our brewers utilize their materials to exacting standards. As artists, they would they couldn't resist the temptation to combine the best flavors of two of our highly acclaimed Blackwater series Imperial Stouts, Java and Chocolate. Alone each is perfect, but together as Mocha, they are an inimitable expression of two worlds most sought after flavors. Enjoy Mocha Stout with or as your favorite dessert. Cheers. And a lot of these, <clears throat> and a lot of these beers, especially the stouts, are, are considered uh, uh, dessert or di digestive. Uh, they go well with your ch all your chocolate dishes, uh, no matter what kind of chocolate you're having, pie, brownies, whatever uh, chocolate dish you're having. These uh, uh, stouts go well with that, and they do. Uh, I don't think there's anything else there we need to talk about, so we'll go over to the food pairings. Food pairings for this, and it says cheeses of buttery brie gouda Havarti Swiss, chocolate, meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat, glass for a pint, becker, and tumbler, snipper, oversized wine glass. I brought out the Google glass for this one, guys, and can be sellable for a long period. It's 10% stout. This beer is going to keep 10, 15, even 20 years if you sell it correctly. That's why the vintage is so dank. You want to. Yeah, you you want to know what year it is. Maybe you've got one that's 10 years old, 15 years old, or 20 years old, and you want to compare it to, to one that's fresh, just to see how it is uh, uh, has matured and uh, and the flavors have, have got more intense or or mellowed or however the case may be, and and to see the difference in them. So, all right, that's all we need to fuss and and flap my gums about. So let me get the uh, cap off of this bad boy. And this is a bomber. It's a 22 ouncer. Definitely enough to share a nice hiss on the bottle. That's 10%. Let's go down the center. If we can generate some nice chocolatey head. Alright, that's enough. So I uh, save the other half for the other half. A uh, nice finger of head. All colored, khaki colored head there. Over into the light. I am seeing none, guys. It is pretty black, pretty opaque. Very nice looking beer in the glass. Very nice. Final beer of the evening, I might add. Hmm, good looking beer. And like I said, I'm a big fan of Southern Tier. They just need to step up to the plate and do something different as far as what they're dating. The black digitized writing on the bottle on a stout beer just doesn't cut it. Uh, and we don't need a month and a day, just a year. Ooh, the chocolate is just off the chain here, guys. Big time bittersweet chocolate. Deep, rich roasted malt, even to the burnt characteristics of the malt. I'm getting cocoa. I'm getting maybe some hints of some dark fruit. Very sweet smelling. Maybe even some brown sugar or candied sugar in here. That's why I would like to see the IBUs. Uh, how much how much bittering hops are you using to counterbalance all the sweetness they use? Uh, they may even use some lactose in brewing this, which is going to make it a, uh, a little more sweet because uh, that uh, the yeast can't eat that kind of uh, uh, sugar from lactose. Very sweet smelling, very chocolatey, very very chocolatey. Hmm, awesome smelling, and as you can see, the head is dissipated. It is just barely covering the top of the beer. It's that time. Cheers, everybody.
Mm. If you're a chocolate fan, you're going to love this. The chocolate is this. I keep saying this. The chocolate is off the chain, guys. It is awesome. This will be a very serious candidate to go with your dessert. If you're having a chocolate dessert, this would pair exceptionally well with it. Exceptionally well. I mean, the chocolate is just... Super chocolatey. Super chocolatey. This is definitely a dessert type beer, guys. You wouldn't want to start out your, your evening or your day with something uh, this rich and chocolatey and then move over to an IPA or a double IPA or anything like that because this is so sweet and so chocolatey. It, it's almost in a class by itself as far as being a dessert beer. Very easy drinking. The alcohol is basically non-existent. It's a wonderfully crafted brewed beer. It's awesome. It is awesome, guys. But like I said, uh, we'll check the bottle when I come back. So if I can, once we get all the beer out of it and this, uh, the uh, condensation goes away, uh, I might uh, uh, pour the other. I'm, I might. I'm definitely going to pour the uh, the other half of this into a glass for her and uh, let her sip on it. And I'll take this back and sip on it for 35, 40, 45 minutes and maybe even fire up a cigar to go with it. And then uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one. Pretty freaking impressive beer. Most definitely an A beer. See so if we can find an 8 on it so I can give it a 10. Come on back. We'll find out what it gets in just a second. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Finishing off the cigar that I've been smoking on for this evening. Uh, these labels that Southern Tier uses here is a cellophane, cellophane uh, stick-on label. It's not, it's not a silkscreen bottle. It's not a paper label. It is a uh, cellophane label, clear cellophane label that they apply to their bottles. And you, and you can't tell me that as big as Southern Tier is that they can't afford to print these labels with a vintage on them. I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. And over to the beer list site, it tells me where all these beer companies date their stuff. It says here, Southern Tier uses a bottling date. It is on cases only and also on the bottles themselves. It's near the bottom of the label on the glass. Format is DOB, month, day, and year. There's nothing on this freaking bottle at all. Now, whether they're dating the 12-ounce bottles that way, they're not dating the 22-ounce bombers that way. There is nothing written on this bottle. I have looked, and there is nothing written on here. We don't need the month or the day on this style of beer, but we do need the, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, we do need a year so we know what vintage the beer that we're drinking is in case we want to sell her this beer and do a vertical or, or just to know if you want to buy multiple versions of this beer 2013, 2014, 2015 and, and, do, a, and do a side by side comparison or just to know what year the beer was put into the bottle you need to have that information and it's not on this bottle what the hell is going on there? Whoever's in charge of that needs to have their ass kicked. I mean, it's, it's unacceptable to me, and especially since they're putting on a cellophane, clear label stuck to the bottle, that it's not on that label. I love Southern Tier beers to death, guys, but they are asinine. There is no excuse whatsoever not to have the vintage on this particular style of beer. It blows my mind that they cannot fathom that. So like I said earlier, whoever's in charge of that, they need to come down here so I can whip their ass out in the front yard. And that's what I would do. That's exactly what I would do because it is inexcusable to have a beer this great and this tasty and this awesome 
that doesn't have any kind of dating on it whatsoever. We need to have the vintage on this style of beer. So, evidently somebody's got their head up their ass. Especially uh, as far as dating a 22 ounce bomber in this style of beer. We're going to leave it at that. I think it's a crack of shit that they do not date the bombers, even if they're dating their 12 ounce bottles. Dating the cases is it's just like dating the truck. <laughs> it's just like dating the truck. Or, or, or dating a piece of paper you're sticking on the truck. Who gives a rat's ass about that? Put it on each individual bomber. Nobody buys cases of bombers. Put it on each individual bomber. You're sticking a cellophane label onto the beer. Put the vintage on it. That's all we need, guys. We just need the vintage on this style of beer. Just the vintage. Final chug. The chocolateiness of this beer is just off the chain. It is freaking awesome, guys. The other half loved it. I mean, I bought this beer in North Carolina. I, I'm not even thinking, I don't even know sure it's available here in Virginia. Because the distribution in Virginia is this, whoever's in charge of distribution in Virginia are a bunch of crackheads. They are. They, I mean, they have no grasp of reality. I mean, just whatever they want to send, wherever, whenever. That's the way it is in Virginia, so. And, to, and, they, and they've had control over that since uh, Prohibition ended. And it, it is crazy. It's fucking crazy. So. It's a delicious beer, guys. It's an awesome beer. It, it, to me, it's an A beer in a nine bottle. Because it has no year, no vintage. We have no clue of how old this beer is when we buy it. Is it a 2015? Is it a 2013? Is it a 2010? Is it a 20? Is it a 2005? We have no idea. We have no clue. Because the distribution controls when these beers show up. Whether it's a week old, a month old, or a year old, or five years old. We have no control over that. It's just whenever they get to feather up their ass and they want to send it out to whatever store they want to send it to. Beer distribution in Virginia is horrible. It is freaking horrible. And they will continue, they will pull beer from stores and send them to other stores hoping they will get rid of them. So that's why it's so critical to have the dating on uh, the beers. Uh, IPAs and, and double IPAs, we got to have that month by any year. On stouts and imperial stouts uh, uh, and imperial porters, stuff that's higher ABV, just the vintage is all we need. But they, they seem to lack that ability to do that. And, and with the, the distribution the way it is in Virginia, and that magnifies that effect. So I don't know if I'm drinking a 2015 edition or a 2005 edition, guys. I have no idea. It's really not relevant as far as the taste on this style of beer. Because it's going to keep, and it's, and it's going to sell her well. But wouldn't you like to know that? Would you not like to know what year of beer you're drinking in case you want to do a vertical? Or to, to accumulate multiple versions of the beer from different years? I would. So, the way it goes, it's going to cost them a grade point. I love Southern Terror to death, but they're a big enough brewery where they could do that. And they choose not to, so they suck. Uh, great beer. Dating. Sucks. Uh, it's a 10 beer for me in a 9 bottle. And that's what I'm going to give it. And I'm going to give it the lower grade of the 9, the nine because they are big enough to do that. So if I'm putting a numeric rating on this, it's probably going to be a 93 or a 94. Because there is no vintage on the bottle. And a lot of people give got a problem with that, but I don't want to give a rat's ass. It's my beer reviews and I'll do what the hell I want to do. And that's what I'm saying about this beer. It is a 10 beer... It's a 100 beer that gets a 94 because there's no vintage on it. So, if you don't like it, go watch somebody else. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because I don't give a rat's ass. I'm an old guy. I'm almost 60 years old. And I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't. Until these clowns that produce these beers 
can realize how important dating is, I'm, I'm going to tell you what the hell I think about it. Whether it's something somebody sends me from a subscriber, I appreciate it. And I, and I want to be as honest as I can with you guys about what I think and the information that it's giving to us. So if they give us no information, so be it. You get the, you get the low grade. So, nine beer, I think it's a great beer. I think it's an awesome beer. It's a very well-made beer. But without any kind of vintage on it, it, it suffers the consequences. Uh, 94 for me, which is a uh, which is a 9, almost to the 8 category. Uh, Beer Advocate says 94 in the outstanding range. I would agree with that 100%. Outstanding beer, but it doesn't get to 10 because there is no vintage on it. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 99 and 94 in the style. Super numbers, 90s from all of us, me included. And it would get a better rating if we could get a vintage on the beer. I just want to see that on there and, and, and for them to realize how important that is to us as consumers, as beer buyers. You're spending your hard-earned money for this beer to drink yourself or even to send them to, to guys like me uh, that do reviews. You're paying for the beer, you're paying for the shipping, and then I'm going to review it. Uh, and that, that information is absolutely critical. And we need the IBUs on it. Come on, tell us what the IBUs are. ABV, IBUs, and the date. Either a month and a year for the IPAs and the double IPAs, or at least a year for the Imperial Stouts and, and uh, Imperial Porters. Uh, so we know what vintage it is, guys. So. Leaving it at that, if you've had this one from Southern Tier, I think it's an awesome beer, but they're lacking in uh, whoever's in charge of the dating. My opinion, though, uh, and that, and depending on where you buy your coffee, whether it's at uh, uh, the convenience store for 50 cents or for Starbucks at $5 a cup, uh, we'll buy you a cup of coffee. So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, it's a great beer, guys. It really, really is. Alcohol is super well hidden, very chocolatey, very nice beer. We want the vintage on our stuff. We want to know how old the beer is. We, 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 I do, anyway. And if you don't, more power to you, but I do. I want to know when it was put in the bottle. So, with that being said, uh, it's a great beer. Super beer. If you can get your hands on it, give it a try. You're not going to know what the date is on it unless you see it in a case somewhere. Because uh, it's not on my bottle. But with that being said, let me know what you think if you've had the Southern Tier Mocha. Awesome beer. Very tasty. I enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it too. But I'm going to keep harping on this until we get all these clowns to do what they're supposed to do. Do the right thing. Do it. All right, guys. That's all for this one. Let me know if you've had it. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we'll get one that's got a damn date on it. <laughs> see you then.